I love moments like this in our jobs. Talk about a full circle moment. Trumpeter William Leathers first joined us on your morning five years ago when he crowdfunded his way to Juilliard. And we've been following his progress ever since. He has now graduated from the prestigious music school with a master's degree in music and a whole lot happening on the horizon. So I want to welcome back to the studio, William. It is amazing to have you here. Great to be back. Uh, congratulations on your graduation. Uh, when you were first on the show for the first time, it was 2018. This is when you were accepted to Juilliard. And I just want to remind everybody at home what that moment was like. So have a look with us. What are you thinking about when you watch that William of five years ago? Well, that just sounds and looks like a different person to me, but it also <laughs> feels just like last week. You know, it's, it's a very, um, um, you know, eye-opening moment to see that clip again. Yeah, and to land where you are now, like since the last time we spoke with you, you've been accepted to the Nashville Symphony. How is that going? Can we get an update? Yeah, absolutely. It's going great. I've just started my second season there. The first season went great. Um, you know, I... I uh, you know, I felt very fortunate to 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 win the audition back. This was the the audition happened in uh, February of 2022. So I felt very fortunate that that was about midway through my senior year. So you know, not a lot of people get positions like that going straight out of school. Wow. So for me, uh, you know, I just felt so fortunate that I had somewhere to go after my time at uh, Juilliard. Part of the reason it feels so wild that it's been five years is because COVID happened in the middle of that. You were at this music school where there's a lot of projection and spitting. How did you go to school for trumpeting in the middle of a pandemic? Well, of course, right at the pandemic, pretty much everything went to Zoom. But then yeah. eventually, you know, in late 2020, we were able to come back and do do some, uh, um, at the most, we were able to do get in one room and play some large ensemble chamber music, which required us to be at first um, no, no less than 15 feet apart at all times. And then by January or February, I want to say of 2021, we were able to get to about 10 and a half feet. So we had to go through all these regulate. We had to have bell covers. We had to have these masks with the hole in them where you put the flap down while you're not playing. You know, it was kind of complicated. But, you know, at the end of the day, we, we were all, me and my colleagues at school, we were all very grateful that we got to play together again. Obviously, and then you graduated. You also had the opportunity to play uh, with the San, uh, Santa Fe Opera in New Mexico. What, there you go. Where, what was that experience like? Well, that, uh, I just finished my first season this past summer. And, uh, oh, there's a nice photo right there. Yeah, it looks yeah good. lovely colleagues. Uh, this photo right here is actually from the, uh, the San, Santa Fe uh, Chamber Music Festival, which is also, which I also got to take part in. But yeah, the Santa Fe Opera, it's a very different, uh, job in the the Nashville Symphony, and I I really love playing uh, both types of music: the, symph the symphonic repertoire and uh, the operatic repertoire. It's all classical music, but it's all it's all very different, and it and it's um, kind of it pushes me out of my comfort zone to the point where I can feel more and more comfortable playing different types of uh, classical music. And I and uh, you know everyone there is very nice. There are lots of lots of people I grew up watching in the Toronto Symphony who also play in the Santa Fe Opera. So it's, nice. it's a really great experience for me. Speaking of Toronto, you're going to be playing right here in Toronto with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra. How, how does it, I mean, I remember you coming in here as a young man with big dreams, with your family was all here to watch you be on the show. Uh, here you are and you're playing in the Toronto Symphony. How does it feel to play in your hometown? It feels very, very fulfilling to me. You know, um, again, growing up watching the orchestra, it, it, uh, it makes me feel like, you know, I get to be on stage at uh, Roy Thompson Hall, just just like I was back when I was doing the the side by side concerts and side by side concerts when I was in the uh, the youth orchestra. So yeah. I, I, I definitely feel like this is a, a very fulfilling full, full circle moment for me. And I'm I'm really grateful that they invited me to, to be there. OK, well, I want to complete the circle here on your morning. I'm going to have you I'm going to have you place to break. But I, I want to remind everybody at home. First of all, you can catch William playing with the Toronto Symphony Orchestra this weekend starting September 28th. He's going to perform for us. Uh, and after the break, we've got a new novel from Canada's own Emma Donahue. But in the meantime, William, would you would you do us the honor of playing us to commercial like Absolutely. you did five years ago? Amazing. Enjoy this, Canada.
Hey, thanks for watching. If you liked this, be sure to subscribe here, or you can check out more Your Morning videos right here.